Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again this week. My name is Alicia. Today we're celebrating the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the Gospel today, Jesus tells his disciples a parable about an owner of a vineyard and his workers. This is a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. One day, Jesus told his disciples this parable. This is what the reign of God is like. Once there was a man who owned a grape vineyard. One morning, he hired a group of workers to pick the grapes in his vineyard. They all agreed on how much they would be paid for the day's work. Later that day, the owner hired a few more workers and said to them, go into my vineyard to work and I will pay you what is fair. Then, later in the day, he found still more workers and sent them into his vineyard to work. Finally, about five o'clock in the afternoon, he saw some others in the town who weren't working, but just standing around. He asked them, why are you wasting your time instead of working? They answered, because no one has hired us to work. So the owner of the vineyard said, I will hire you. Go now to my vineyard and work for me. That evening, the owner called all the workers together to pay for their work. He started with the ones he hired last. When they came forward, he paid them for a whole day's work, even though they had worked only one hour. Now, when the people who had worked all day came forward, they thought they would be paid more, but they got exactly the same as everyone else. They started complaining and said, these last people worked only one hour and you have paid them the same as you paid us, but we have worked all day in the hot sun. The owner of the vineyard said, my friends, I am not treating you unfairly. Didn't we agree this morning on how much you would be paid? So here, take what you have earned. I want to pay everyone the same. Am I not free to do what I want with my own money? Or are you angry because I am generous and kind? The Gospel of the Lord. Vineyards were a very common sight to see in Jesus's time. They were where the grapes were grown that was turned into wine that everyone drank. If you owned a vineyard, you needed a lot of help. There were lots of different jobs that needed to be done in the vineyard, pulling weeds, pruning branches, harvesting, watering the plants. In the parable, the owner hired workers and offered to pay them what was fair for their work. During the day, he went out several different times and hired more workers to help. At the end of the day, the employer paid everyone the same amount, which made the people that worked all day upset. They thought that they deserved more since they would work longer. The vineyard owner appreciated and valued all the contributions made by each worker. Even if one worked more and one worked less, they all still had to work together to make the harvest successful. He understood that each worker had an important role to play, and it was by working together that everything could get done. Jesus is the owner of the vineyard. He invites us all to follow his teachings and to live as he did. He understands that we are all unique and have different gifts and talents that we share with others. He invites us to do this. We are all valued by God. Jesus wants us to share the talents he gave to us with each other to make the world a better place. We should be generous with our gifts and talents, just as the vineyard owner was generous with what he gave to others. We need to share our gifts with others so that we can all work together to make the world a better place. This week, I had my name written on a piece of paper and had the people in my family come and bring some of my different traits and gifts that I've gotten from God. I'll leave it out if anyone wants to add any during the week. What are your special talents? I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.